Good morning, I'm Roger Grimsby. Today, the entire eastern seaboard is alive with talk of incidents of paranormal activity. Alleged ghost sightings and related supernatural occurrences have been reported across the entire tri-state area. Well, everybody Seems has everybody heard ghost stories around the campfire. Heck, my grandma used to spin yarns about a spectral locomotive that would rocket past the farm where she grew up. But now, as if some unforeseen authority... There's something strange in the neighborhood. Larry King. The phone-in topic today, ghosts and ghost busting. The controversy builds, more sightings are reported. Some maintain that these professional paranormal eliminators in New York are the cause of it all. Still making headlines all across the country, the Ghostbusters are at it again. This time at the fashionable dance club, The Rose. The boys in gray slugged it out with a pretty pesky poltergeist, then stayed on to dance the night away with some of the lovely ladies who witnessed the disturbance. This is Casey Kasem. Now, on with the countdown. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No job is too big, no fee is too big. Is it just the mist that doesn't have arms and legs? As they say in TV, uh, I'm sure there's one big question on everybody's mind, and I imagine you are the man to answer that. How is Elvis, and have you seen him lately? You've had a dose of a freaky ghost, baby. You better call. believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trance mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis. Uh, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. I gotta get some sleep. I'm dying. You don't look good. I don't? Well, you look better. You didn't used to look like this. Can you have Here's the paper under Brooklyn. She paid with Visa. Here's tonight's worksheet. Oh, great. Two more free repeaters. This is Winston Zedmore. He's here about the job. Beautiful. You're hired. Ray Stance, Pete Venkman. Congratulations. Can you help Thank me, please? You. Welcome aboard. I don't know where they get these guest conductors. I mean, someone should tell him it's not going to do him much good to scream at us in German. Well, I don't think that the man is competent to conduct a major symphony orchestra. Um, could you wait here a minute? Huh? Uh, sure. Dr. Beckman, this is a surprise. That was a wonderful rehearsal. You heard that? Yes, you're the best one in your row. Oh, thank you. You're good. Most people can't hear me with a whole orchestra playing. Uh, I don't have to take this abuse from you. I got hundreds of people dying to abuse me. I know. You're a big celebrity now. Do you have some information for me on my case? Who's the stiff? The stiff happens to be one of the finest musicians in the world. I mean, do you have some information for me, please? Well, sure, but I'd prefer to give it to you in private. Why don't you tell me now? Well, OK, I found the name Zul for you. Well, the name Zul refers to a demigod worshipped around 6,000 BC by the, what's that word? Hittites. Hittites, Mesopotamians, and the Sumerians. Zul was the minion of Gozer. What's Gozer? Gozer was very big in Samaria. Well, what's he doing in my icebox? I'm working on that. If we could get together Thursday night, I'm thinking 9-ish, 
you know, we could exchange information. I can't see you Thursday. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Miss Barrett, you seem to think there is something wrong up here that says, in your mind, he enjoys taking his evenings off and spending it with his clients. No, I'm making a special exception in your case because I respect you. It's corny, but I respect you as an artist. And as a dresser, too. This is a magnificent yeah. coordination okay, you have going I'll, here today. I'll see you Thursday. I'll bring the Royal Lance Guide, and we'll eat and read. So who the hell is that? He's just a friend. A friend? An old friend. But well, I'll see you Thursday. I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you, sir, and I'm glad you're feeling much better. You're still very pale, though. Little son. Well, what does he do? Well, he's a scientist. This is where we store all the vapors and entities and slimers that we trap. It's very simple, really. A loaded trap here. Open, unlock the system. Insert the trap. Release. Close, lock the system. Set your entry grid. Neutronize your field. And the light is green. The trap is clean. The ghost is incarcerated here in our custom-made storage facility. There's a man from the EPA here to see you. He's waiting in your office. EPA, what's he want? I don't know. All I do know is that I've been working two weeks without a break, and you promised me you'd hire more help. Janine, someone with your qualifications would have no trouble finding a top-flight job in either the food service or housekeeping industries. Are you going to answer that? Quit better jobs than this. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Can I help you? I'm Walter Peck. I represent the Environmental Protection Agency, the third district. Great. How's it going down there? Are you Peter Venkman? Yes, I'm Dr. Venkman. Exactly what are you a doctor of, Mr. Venkman? Well, I have PhDs in parapsychology and psychology. I see. And now you catch ghosts. Yeah, you could say that. And how many ghosts have you caught, Mr. Frank? I'm not at liberty to say. And where do you put these ghosts once you catch them? Into a storage facility. And would this storage facility be located on these premises? Yes. And may I see this storage facility? No. And why not, Mr. Venkman? Because you did not use the magic word. What is the magic word, Mr. Venkman? Please. May I please see the storage facility, Mr. Venkman? Why do you want to see the storage facility? Well, because I'm curious. I want to know more about what you do here. Frankly, there have been a lot of wild stories in the media, and we want to assess any possible environmental impact from your operation. For instance, the presence of noxious, possibly hazardous waste chemicals in your basement. Now, you either show me what is down there, or I come back with a court order. You go get a court order, and I'll sue your ass for wrongful prosecution. You can have it your way, Mr. Venkman. I'm worried, Ray. It's getting crowded in there, and all my recent data points to something big on the horizon. What do you mean, the big? Well, let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. We could be on the verge of a fourfold cross rip, a PKE surge of incredible, even dangerous proportions. We just had a visit from the Environmental Protection Agency. How's the grid holding up? It's not good. Tell them about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? 